This beautiful looking guitar is the Supro Hampton in ocean blue. It's loaded with three gold foil pickups and it's exclusive to Jerry's Lefty Guitars. Let's take a listen. G'day folks, this is Shane. Today we're checking out this Jerry's Lefty Guitars exclusive. This is the Supro Hampton in ocean blue. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar up close. Now this looks absolutely stunning. Check out the back as well. This blue just looks really, really killer. Let me know what you think of how this looks in the comments below. Now if we check out the pickups, you can see we have three. There's also a five-way toggle switch down here as well. So we can get bridge, both, middle on its own, middle and neck and neck on its own. So a five-way toggle switch, very similar or pretty much the same as a Strat. One of the cool things about this guitar is the fact that the strings just go straight through here over the bridge and you're good to go. There's not, it's not a string through body or anything like that. So they literally just go through there, nice and simple. We have a tunematic style bridge as well. One of the cool things about this guitar is actually the neck, which I'm about to show you. So let's take a look. Check out how shiny the actual headstock is and the actual neck is very, very smooth. It's a matte finish. It feels great in the hand as well. And if you get right up to here, it's a, like a high gloss right at the end, but you get that matte finish and it feels beautiful in the hand. A huge thanks to Jerry from Jerry's Lefty Guitars for sending this out. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. And yeah, if you wanna find out more about this particular guitar, I'll post all the links on screen and in the description below. And as of shooting this video, if you head over to his website, it's on page five of the electric. So you can just click that and you'll see it come up. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna be plugged into the Kemper, but I actually profiled my Marshall DSL 40CR on the actual Crunch channel with a bit of gain. And that's what you heard in the intro clip. There's also a little bit of delay and then we'll try it clean, dead clean as well coming up. So let's try this. This is bridge pickup to start with. Yeah, over to Nick. Sounds pretty great. Middle pickup. Over to middle and bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. 
That might actually be one of my favorite positions so far. And let's try middle and neck pickup. So these two. Now let's go back to neck just as a comparison. Neck and middle. Beautiful. Over to some cleaner tones now, and what you're about to hear is the vintage clean channel on the PV Bandit 112. It's loaded with a Texas heat speaker, so let's give this a shot. This is neck pickup. Neck and middle. Middle pickup on its own. Let's try this now, middle and bridge. And over to bridge pickup. Let's take a look at the tone control on the guitar now and I'm over to the vintage drive channel of the PV Bandit and I've got the tone control wide open on the bridge pickup. Let's back it off about a quarter. Back it off some more, probably around half. And all the way off. And just on. As you can see, the tone control opens up pretty quickly, which is good. And all the way back up. Nice. Thanks again for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you wanna find out more about this, all links will be on screen and in the description below. Please let me know what you think of the tones as well. I always appreciate your feedback there. Now, what do I think of this particular guitar? It plays great. It kind of feels a little bit like a Gibson in terms of its scale length. I haven't looked up the specs. I might have posted something on screen as I was playing, but overall it feels very familiar to play. I love the fact the neck isn't too thin, it's not super fat, but it's in a, in a pretty comfortable place for my hand. I really dig it. I love neck and bridge pickup on this thing. I could play those all day. These particular pickups handled the dirt way better than I was expecting. I didn't know what to expect, you know, never having played a lefty of these anywhere. So plugging it in with some dirt, I was like, oh, these are actually, they got a bit of bite, especially on the neck pickup. Now the bridge pickup has a little bit more of a rolled out kind of bridge vibe. But you might be able to get around that just by raising up maybe or angling the pickup up a little bit more on the treble side. But either way, there's nice sounding pickups. They sound good clean as well, which is cool. I should also point out this particular guitar comes with a killer gig bag as well. The gig bag quality for those who have seen my PRS SE or if you own one, you'll know that they come with a killer gig bag the gig bag that these come with as well. Absolutely awesome. A lot of companies seem to get that wrong, but Supro, PRS, get it right, absolutely. So this is definitely one of my top gig bags now in my collection. And what can I tell you in terms of tone? I'll leave it up to you. It's all subjective stuff. 
Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And like I said, if you want to find out more about it, all links will be on screen and in the description. Thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.